honestly don't know what the fuck is going on. He's either being cute, like, let's just imagine we can start over as if we never fucked everything up. Or, or some weird shit is going down. She remembers what we remember. What? We know he came with a picture because the nun told us. Hello? Did you tell him? Nora? Did you tell him? I, I, I don't understand what Nora. you're asking me. Kevin! Fucking Kevin! He's here! No. No, I didn't. Because if you did, just say so. And I... I, I didn't. We established boundaries the first time you called me. Clear boundaries. I don't tell you about the people here, and I don't tell the people here about you. I would never betray that, Nora. You called me because you wanted me to say it's okay to go to the dance. I do not want to go to the fucking dance! Gotcha. <laughs> but if you did, it's okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Lori! Same time next week. <laughs> It's a wedding. I know. You told me it was a dance. People are dancing. So you're saying you've never been here before. This is your first time in Australia. Uh huh. You're really gonna keep this up? Keep what up? What about the courthouse? We got our divorces on the same day and ran into each other. I asked you to go to Miami. You asked me to go to Miami? Yes. Because if you asked me to go to Miami with you, I definitely would have gone. I love Miami. So, so you never left? You've been a cop in Mapleton all this time. Uh-huh. Then you knew my brother, Matt Jameson. I was hoping you were going to come to the funeral. We said our goodbyes in person. It was a beautiful service. Over 400 people came. How are Jill and Tom? You remember my kid's name? Yeah. I remember. It's a little creepy, but I am impressed. <laughs> to these beautiful birds. And now we are going to set them free so they can fly off to every corner of the world, spreading those messages of love to people everywhere. Oh. <laughs> All right, sister. Release the birds! <laughs> I look forward to a lifetime of fucking up with you. But I hereby swear I will never sin again. Now bring out that fucking gun! Jerry, come on. What the shit? You better not. Jerry, please, do you have No! To 
Hello. In biblical times, a goat was designated to be driven into the desert with the sins of the community upon it. So, let these beads represent our sins. God. Unburden yourselves, friends. We say it and sacrifice it. Have you ever seen somebody sacrifice a goat? No. That'd be weird. Oh, that girl is so cute. Dream to remember. Bad dream. Dream to remember. How did you find me, Kevin? Dream, yeah. I'm on vacation in Australia. Why not? Because it's not true. Evening. Is the nun got a trap on the side? What's going on? Sarah, what did you do with my birds? I let them go just like I always do. What's wrong? What's wrong is that they didn't come back. I don't know. Those birds are trained to do one thing, just one thing, and that's to come home. So you must have done something different. Maybe they're delivering the messages of love. It's great that your newlyweds believe that a bird with a range of 50 miles is going to carry their stupid poetry to Timbuktu, but don't sell that bullshit to me. I'm not trying to sell you anything. It's just a nice story. Who was that man? What man? The man I just saw leaving. You mean Father Brian? He's the only man permitted in the convent. Does Father Brian <laughs> ride a motorcycle? No. Well, this man did. And he was climbing a ladder down from that room right up there. Oh, <laughs> well, that's strange. Is that your room? It might be. <laughs> I'm so glad I haven't seen any men on ladders. You just had <laughs> sex with him. Oh, no, I didn't. You did. Did not. Then swear to God. All right. I swear to God. <sighs> I'll pray for the safe return of your birds. Don't waste your breath. Huh. <laughs> Like the remnant. Oh, come on. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Oh. oh, fuck yeah. Ah. Oh, <gasps>
afraid of Nora. 